All right, congratulations, you just finished the 28 day belly burn. You've lost a good amount of weight, you dropped some fat, you've seen your muscle increase, and now you're wondering, what should you do? Well, the things I wanna ask you, is it dependent upon your lifestyle? Or are you looking to drastically lose more weight? And then are you looking for long-term results? Now you've lost the weight, I wanna ask you, is this a part of a lifestyle long-term training package? So if you're just learning a new technique, such as the belly burn, and you're wanting to make this a part of your lifestyle, then yes, you need to focus on the nutrition part and everything that you've learned over those 28 days and what works well for your body. And so a lot of us, we have struggled tracking. But if you've gotten the most amount of results by tracking your food, then what I'm gonna do is make that a new part of your lifestyle. Make tracking your food before you eat it or pre-planning your food the night before a part of your day-to-day. -day. Always schedule out time to pre-plan your food. If you cannot do that, then I'm gonna tell you that if meal prepping worked for you, then make meal prepping a part of your lifestyle. Most people do their batch cooking on a Sunday and a Wednesday. And so if you have these foods batch prepped, then make that a part of every Sunday, every Wednesday, here on moving forward. If you've gotten success and you've done a bunch of workouts over the past 28 days, I would say that there's a good chance that continuously working out needs to be a part of your lifestyle. So instead of struggling to book your workouts and instead of struggling to make your workouts and having the mindset that oh, I gotta go work out because I know it's good for me but I don't want to, instead make it a part of your lifestyle just like brushing your teeth. You don't get a thrill out of brushing your teeth every morning. Well, maybe you do. I don't know who you are, but maybe you are. But when it comes to working out, you're not always gonna be like a cheerleader, gung-ho and excited to go and work out. But you just get up you show up, you do the workout, and that's it. Like there doesn't have to be this drastic emotion of I don't feel like doing it today or I really feel like doing it today. Just be in the middle and see working out a part of your day-to-day -day lifestyle. The second one is if you drastically needed to drop some extra pounds that you gain, then you probably went super aggressive and honestly, that method isn't sustainable and will probably burn you out. There are some clients that I work with that have extreme amounts of weight that they want to lose and as such I mentally ask them like are you prepared to do what it takes in order for you to get there and this is like joining the Navy SEALs it's not something that you can do every single day for the next 365 days of your life there's only a couple people out there like Samantha Powderhorn who's done a 24-hour fast every Friday for 12 months straight she's also the person that's doing this 75 hard where you have to work out twice a day you got to be outside for like 45 minutes you get no cheat meals no alcohol she's one of two people that i know that have ever completed this 75 hard and so those types of people like samantha the truly hardcores that do it and can stick to it they're very select few and so for most of us we just can't go that aggressive for that long why because not having a treat over Christmas or not having a piece of cake on a kid's birthday. Like that's enough to make us break and want to quit the entire thing. So what I would tell you is that you need to stick with the things that you know that are sustainable and just stick to the basics. So never stuff, never starve. Be drinking your water. Be mindful that you're drinking more water than you are cups of coffee. And choosing the right foods over the wrong foods. You know that starting your day off with the donut that somebody brought to the workplace and they just want to do it because they want to feel the love for you. You know that that's not good for you and as such don't make that the first thing that you eat. You already know what you should and shouldn't be doing in order to maintain the success that you've gained, but it's a matter of doing the right things and making smarter decisions. So if you've drastically lost the weight, don't expect to maintain that unless you're one of the hardcores, but what you need to do is start making smarter lifestyle decisions and maintain the things like working out and drinking water over the long term. Now, if you wanna see long standing results, then honestly, you need to do a combination of the both. For sure, you have to make showing up to the gym a part of your non-negotiables. Like you wouldn't not brush your teeth. You wouldn't not change your clothes. So you should not miss the gym. You should just show up to the gym. And then throughout the course of the year, honestly, the best results that I've seen people do is have periods where they focus on lifestyle, 
they give themselves a small little break and then they jump into a belly burn challenge and go hardcore for 28 days. And that to me is super sustainable. So if you did a belly burn every, let's say 60 to 90 days, so you went hardcore for 30 days, then you did a lifestyle maintenance package for 30 days, and then you gave yourself a small break, let's say like a two to three week break from it all before you jump into a belly burn, you're gonna constantly see this. So it's gonna go down, and then it's gonna go slightly up, but never to where it started, and it's gonna continuously go like this. So it's gonna fluctuate like a yo-yo, but the yo-yo is always gonna be going down when it comes to your body fat and the weight that you don't want. So if you wanna see long-term results, and if you're looking to do something crazy, and you wanna do a kickstart metabolism booster one day plan, then go into the description. I added a link there, you'll click it, You'll send me your email and I'll email you the link where you're going to be able to follow one full day of a wicked metabolism boosting plan.